তোরে হৃদয়ে জড়িয়ে আছে কত উষ্ণতার প্রাণ বুকেরই মাঝে তে লুকিয়ে আছে সেই ভালোবাসার টান ডক্টর <laughs> which was a fantastic conference well aicog or all india congress of obstetrics and gynecology is an annual event of uh, foxy which happens every year in different cities of the country this year it happened in kolkata in 2007 we organized the aicog in kolkata when we were uh, foot soldiers or lieutenants obviously we knew at some stage aicog will come again and we were reasonably sure that the 2022 aicog which was supposed to be in kolkata and got postponed because of covid will come to us and obviously we bid uh, knowing that logically it is supposed to come to us the first thing we want to say in aicog is that how we won the bid i think that is where it all starts and that was the easiest part of the conference we got this bid that was in 2019 and uh, covid came in between indoor got postponed in between and we were really anxiously waiting when will we actually have the dates and have the chance of getting this conference done but the preparation started with the bid possibly 3 and a half years ago and uh, we were happy in a way that uh, because covid pushed us a year back we had our venue ready and this venue is something i'm sure all our colleagues will talk to you about that is some of the one of the best parts of the conference aicog 2023 chalo milke dekhte hain saath mein is suhani nagar ko yeah the first thing is ooh it was an experience an experience which we i feel i never had before it all started in this very building when we decided that what should be our organizing committee how top heavy it should be how much we could involve the juniors after the aicog is we made a correct decision of involving the youngsters and getting the best out of them and that is why aicog 2023 stood out So the team for AICOG is something which was very unique and one of the strongest points of the conference. The last 10 to 12 years we have had several events together. I know that our team can face any challenge in the world. Uh, with the leadership of Bhaskar the uh, Dipendu and all the other past president also their contribution my young brother Bashop and the entire team they worked so much So I think we have been lucky you know one of the but one of the most important things of the conference was we came to know of such bright smart and you know hard working juniors which we never knew them we never you know, knew we them. never knew I about them I think this conference opened the doorway of our kinship and friendship with the juniors and there are many people who's working for the first time in such a mega conference it is bound that they will make mistakes it would be my job to shout at them for their mistakes but it will be again my job to correct make corrections to that mistake so that things are taken care of and i think we would we are able to motivate a team where people never felt or compared that how much i am doing how much other person is doing and everybody was backing one another amader respected organizing chairperson bhaskar da was a terror I don't mind saying it on uh, the com- a very camera. affectionate terror but affectionate terror. but terror uh-huh. uh, among, uh, people used to find it very difficult to uh, talk to him at some point some before the pick uh-huh. I within reason because he was no, so no, he had his reasons and stressed uh-huh. but kipokan book 
একটা লোক আছে তুলিকা যে বকুনি খাইনি আই এম নট নোন ফর মাই পেশেন্স আই এম নোন ফর মাই ইন্টেনশন টু অ্যাচিভ পারফেকশন অ্যান্ড ইফ সামবডি মেক সাম মিস্টেক ইট ইজ মাই জব টু ফুল দেম আপ ফর দ্যাট বাট ইট ইজ এগেন মাই জব টু টেল দেম হাউ টু সলভ দ্যাট সলভ দ্যাট বিকজ আদারওয়াইজ আই এম নো গুড জার্নিটেশ there's not too much left after that so i mean our schedule was what we used to have meetings from at uh, almost 3 Every days evening. a week yeah. uh, initially, initially uh, once a week and then it was 5 to 6 uh, days uh-huh. and then we used to go back home till 10 o'clock we used to stay in the yeah. office and then remember we used to yeah, go yeah, back yeah, home and, home. and then zoom, zoom again and then from 10 o'clock, o'clock up to 12 till 12 past 12 it, no, no. it would be 1:30 also yeah, yeah. so it has been 1:30 also to... we had makhana makhana was our favorite <laughs> how can we forget our eating days in the meetings oh my eating god eating was one of the uh, highlights, highlights of our pre conference uh, mm-hmm. meeting meetings uh, basho used to be our food Amongst minister all this basho never mm. forgot to order the food <laughs> absolutely absolutely and, and the days he were not there we used to we used to say what biscuit There's you no, chana chur and all that what no food today what happened basha Bash- no no kfc no burger no nothing and that was a detox days a variety menu every time so i think we like the meetings the most the meetings were when we uh, had a lot of brainstorming um, then there was a group of people who loved the makana the food which we used to bring to there the snacks on there and uh, i think uh, i think and as i said kept on telling the team that the journey is more important once we finish all this we will miss it and that is exactly what happened for the first one month we were having really withdrawal symptoms about um how are the evenings so empty where is uh, where, why are we not there at bengal society office at pratishruti the best part was you know it was a habit for us we used to do meeting in the Uh, pratishuti itself and after 10 o'clock a link was sent to us and you used <laughs> yes, to attend yes. you know online zoom meetings and it ha- what had become a really habit to become uh, to attend those meetings and in any case if i did not have meeting on that point of time my children used to say Mam- mama where's the zoom and what are you you should be in zoom meetings right now it was very abnormal after some time that uh, i was uh, sleeping with them because i never sle- slept with them i think the biggest motivation was the commitment from the leadership although i was extremely fortunate to be part of that team uh everybody worked extremely hard committed right till the end and that is why you know not only the planning was fantastic the commitment was extremely deep and i think we the entire team executed the conference to near perfection My sons were asking me that, uh, Papa, where are we going for winter vacation this year? So I told them we are going to Kolkata. So they said, who goes to vacation for Kolkata? This is the work-life balance which we maintained uh, for the last six months, that everything was put aside and only one goal and one focus was there, that to conduct a Absolutely. successful and a huge AICOG, which has been already done. Once it was decided that Kolkata will be the venue for the AICOG, I think all of us made a conscious effort to organize our life we had to cut down on clinics we had to uh, make sure that we come to the society office on time there was absolutely no family life in last uh 3 months well i didn't have a big problem because my children are not at home and uh, sita and i both used to be in the office till 10 o'clock 11 o'clock then go back home and then be on zoom meetings till one so it for me it was easy i take up the call hello when are you coming home <laughs> that is a question you can't ask. <laughs> that was that was something that was something you said. I mean, yeah, I I'm must, coming home. It was like uh, very good cooperation and support from the parents. Obviously my parents are there and my husband used to How cut old are you kids now? One is 12 and another is 4. Oh, you're But so my old. husband <laughs> yeah. very small. Uh, she was wondering what you were doing after after clinic you were not coming to home you were doing going to meeting. Why you are doing meeting every day? What's the 
purpose of this meeting every day. So I think it is more creditable for the younger ones who have children who are in class 9, 10, 11, 12. For them it was much bigger challenge how they balance. And again, as a leader, you have to look into that. You have to understand that people are balancing family and profession and this. I do not expect a member of a scientific community to make as much professional sacrifice as I would make be as an organizing chairperson. It is taken for granted I will have to make more sacrifices. This is like a trapeze artist that you've got to balance. Uh, you've got to balance work. You've got to balance your dedication for AICUG, I would say, and your family. And the part which suffers the most is the family. And if you don't have a, someone in the family, especially your wife, who's ready to accept this, you are in for difficult times. I would say for me it was a mini kumbh mela. Of course, it is the largest for any all of us and would be possibly the largest we will ever do in our lifetime. So from 1,000, 1,200, once you want to step up to 9,000 and 8,000, then it becomes a challenge. Uh, we had 103 international faculties who dealt oh, with the, the conference and there were 50, more than 50 uh, keynote lectures. Then we had 126 guest lectures. We had more than 100 symposia. We had eight beautiful debates. So all these things actually added to the you know, uh, variety and the glory of the conference. I don't think no one can do something better than this because uh, this is a standard which we have really uh, hosted like uh, beyond any inter it can be comparable to the, any international uh, conference because many of my friends uh, who have come they said that they have attended I may not attend all the international conferences but they have seen and they say it is at par. Even the selection of the venue where to be held and which hotels to be booked where the faculties are to be kept and how they should be branded and how many halls should be there and which halls should be positioned where. It was a very planned event and it was really enjoyable with uh, a lot of cultural evenings also with fun and very uh, organized conference with wonderful scientific topics with wonderful seniors to help and it was a one-of-a-kind experience. In ICOG there is a human touch, yes. The other than this mechanical or computerized or sophisticated or software based thing, there is a, I think there is a human touch. In any conference and especially in AICOG, there are several things which will please a delegate. Number one, the scientific content has to be good. The second thing is, the food has to be good. And from Calcutta, people had huge expectations about food. And we felt there were only two people who could do it. One was Six Baliganj, another one was Munna Maharaj. But Six Baliganj, we felt they were way ahead because they have been handling many conferences. And especially Six Baliganj place, South Indian food was out of the world. Did you know that they had hired 10 South Indian chefs from There's South no India? One. And the third very important part is accommodation becomes a sticky issue. Getting accommodation and getting it at a decent price becomes a problem. So our entire efforts were devoted towards this. I have to talk about Rueda because oh, we, we have to. And their designing team is just superb. Not only wonderful. artwork, the way Paras handled the whole situation is just magic. Mm -hmm. uh, I never in my lifetime have seen movies and things when they do, you know, they're putting up uh, building uh -huh. stalls. And then in our lifetime, I didn't have any experience no, no, of this that no. it could be done when in something when I am From involved. From scratch. And the end result was so beautiful. Sumit also, our, con our registration oh team, Sushmita, we God. have to mention about I think them. I have adopted him as my brother. <laughs> uh, any problem, anything you go and tell Sumit, ye kar do. Eh, ho jayega, man. The other important thing was that we put every, all of us put very different, bring very different things to the table. Means I can visualize the numbers at uh, what is going to happen. And I can visualize on a macro picture what we are going to do. See, if you look at the success of the public awareness programs, if you look at the fabrication and everything, Basho brings to the table what I can. Uh, in terms of finances, Zoha and Dibendu bring to the table a lot which I can. In terms of uh, keeping people together, uh, people like Krishnan do bring into the table which you cannot. So it is important that we complement one another rather than trying to say that, yes, I want to know everything. That doesn't mean I want to decide everything. 
Also, what we planned to achieve was a collective decision making. That every important decision, there were at least five to ten people who were party to that. Since the beginning of the conference, the Meduda was very particular about the aesthetics. He's always said, uh, whole India ko dikhana hai, what we can do. And, and what is Bengal all about? Correct. And the artistic thing about. So that was a very important part of the conference. And I knew that from the beginning. So people knew that we are generally good hosts. But how good a host you can be in such a large event is something which is always questioned till the event actually happens. Like I personally felt that I wanted to showcase Bengal to the rest of India. And showcasing, first of all, comes with a Durga Puja. Durga Puja is an integral part of our culture. We all enjoyed doing, doing the Durga Puja. Yeah. 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 The Durga and Puja the slide and the projection dances, side by side slide was projection. so beautiful along oh, with the, the Puja. We had Dhaki, we had Dhunuchi and things like that. The other important issue again which we harped on a lot is clean toilets. And I'm happy to say that people have uh, praised us. One of our seniors said that this is the first time in an AICOG I could change my sari in the toilet. It was so dry. The other thing that was very good was the flag hoisting. If you remember, the flag it was hoisting, yeah. really nice. So uh, Kolkata being the cultural capital of India, um, we wanted to highlight the culture of Kolkata very much uh, in, the in the entire event. So it started with the theme video. The theme video which uh, uh, Mr. Mrithunjoy and Mr. Devanjun brought in brought a lot of accolades and a lot of people said that if this is the theme video, an introductory video, what will the event be? There was this yellow taxi coming down the road. There was this North Calcutta Adda culture with a green um, uh, windows which can be pulled up and pulled down, those which were there in the 40s, 50s and we are the rock that we call in Bengali, where people sit down and have, have an adda. In the event, we had named the halls on the names of very important personalities of, our, of Bengal, of Calcutta. Instead of naming as one, two, three, four, five, six like that, we had names like Vivekananda Hall, Satyajit Rahoy, etc, etc. That I think get a huge impact of Kolkata in the map of India. No, the other thing I also wanted to appreciate was the stage of the main hall. Yeah. Yes, was, was That was like a film fair film event. Film yes. You know, yes. and that very beautifully good. done. Anytime, anytime you can call anybody and you'll get help. Nobody will say, don't disturb me now. And people were so much relieved with these sort of things. So that was another okay. excellent part. Uh, to me, the... Uh, the inaugural ceremony of our conference was fantastic. Pritam show, it, it became viral, just as you said, it became viral on Facebook and Instagram. Like, uh, it was beautiful. The atmosphere there, uh, we have never witnessed such kind of a uh, performance or that kind of a atmosphere. <laughs> And we have seen enough Bollywood music shows, but this is possibly the first music show where they are coming and asking me, can we go on longer? Go! So I would think these were the, these were the highlights of the conference. When I went to the hospital after the conference and uh, one of my, you know, one of my juniors met me and said, Sir, I was travelling on the on the Ma Ma flyover yeah. and I, I was seeing AICOG I and, I, and I could see yeah, those yeah. AICOG yeah. and I said, what did you do? We were almost sure that this will be a good conference and would be appreciated by one and all. But the comments which came in later about the greatest conference ever, the best AICOG, a new benchmark to follow, as good as an international conference or even better. Because right from the uh, venue to the ambience to the scientific program to the workshops 
to the personal touch, even the food. We had fantastic feedbacks from the international faculty uh, and the uh, you know uh, delegates from India, from all over the world. Everybody has inundated us with a lot of praises and uh, good words and, and they meant it from their heart, we could understand. Everybody was praising the toilets. I mean, that was something thing. very important for us. Big thing. We made sure that we briefed the team enough so that everybody were in a position to answer the important questions and it doesn't come back to us. And that actually was a great success. And that is what contributed to people saying that the team's hospitality, anything we ask and um, that they would answer. Everybody felt that uh, they have been looked after very individually. It was very individualized. Whenever there was any problem, uh, that could be sorted out. Not many of them really wanted to leave the venue. Yes. Yes. They yes. enjoyed each and every corner of the venue. During the AICOG yes. period, you open up the social media, it's all about AIC. It was AICOG, especially Only the AICOG. right the from is. Facebook. Various groups, doctors and saris, they are just posting their saris. <laughs> and the thing is, not only the delegates, but uh, even yesterday in my chamber, some uh, representative came and they uh, constantly they say, sir, this time the industry area was so spacious, there was no, you know, crowd and nothing, overwhelmed by the things that we did. Every conference has its hiccups. We did have our hiccups, but thankfully, by the end of the second day, we got through. Uh, one of my seniors who uh, looks at things very critically, on the day of leaving, he said, I've tried, to find, tried very hard to find a fault and I can't find it. So that gives us, of course, immense satisfaction and joy that the hard work we put in, all of us put in, it's um, worth it. You know, at the end, would you like to get involved in another AICOG? Suppose in four years time or eight years time? <laughs> I think your expression says it all. <laughs> but maybe if you have the same team, then I can think about it. To me, it was uh, our, uh, pro uh, probably the near best effort. May not be the best effort, but near best effort. If it comes to that, that we are going to have, I'll select the same people same because people. I know this has worked before, you know. So I don't know how I would have done differently. Maybe uh, we obviously have to learn from our past mistakes. So we, you know, we'll take up those things that you know mm. better. The teething issues he mentioned mm. about being more IT uh, savvy, Friendly, and, IT savvy. And, yeah. you know, yeah. learn from that, yes. and you know, uh, possibly have those things in place. But overall, if you see that, you know, everything went off so well. So it was so perfect at the end. Uh, I really, I wish nothing changes that way That's in terms right. of its perfectionism. Uh, I think most of the team feels that uh, if in 12 years time we are all uh, can keep a little bit of good health uh, and the team remains the same, then all of us uh, would be happy to do AICOG again. Um, I, I wouldn't want to do it uh, any differently because you know I'm scared to do another AICOG because what happens is that because next AICOG we do will be uh, measured in the yardstick of this one and uh, if it's not up to this mark, it is going to be a bit of a problem. It's far too taxing and I'm getting old. I've, that's why we groom the youngsters. We taught them what the deficiencies are, how much diligence you need to carry out such a big event. This was our aim to pass our knowledge, our experiences to the next generation, who of course we believe will do a better job. But as of now, for me, no. I think nothing to be changed, uh, but yes, uh, if I say uh, to add, to add something in that, um, to add, I think, uh, I really don't have any answer about it. <laughs> because so what do you want to become? <laughs> Maybe uh, I'll be given uh, more responsibilities. Uh, you will be given what? or you will be taken? Yes, what? <laughs> <You'll> be... <laughs> but, uh, we would be delighted and I hope that we have had some brilliant younger uh, colleagues who will mature more and I'm sure it will not be a problem. And every time we have a conference we need, I think we should have a different leadership because otherwise it brings in a different perspective, uh, it will otherwise get monotonous. So if the next AICOG happens, I would love to be there in advisory capacity and give advice when asked for. So when any event, the motivation is basically the pride of the society. 
So we wanted to make sure that Bengal society um, lives up to expectations. We have arranged conferences in the past, but nothing of this level where, as you said, so many things running together parallelly. So we always thought that we cannot let our society down regarding this uh, conference. And I think the name of Bengal, the name of Kolkata should shine even more. What we have been able to achieve, it should soar even higher than that. International faculty were fantastic. The keynote lectures were awesome. Panel discussions were very, very interactive. The debates were very interesting. So overall, it's a very satisfying experience for me as a scientific chairperson. And that is what AISOG 2023 demanded from all of us, which uh, we all tried to step up and try to contribute and do that. We must mention the names of our office staff, Shiba, Jakir, Shonjoy and Bishwajit, who really worked extremely hard preceding the Congress and during the Congress as well. Yes, now I miss, I still come to the office because there's a lot of pending work to do. But uh, there are hardly anybody, so I miss uh, the action that was going on here. So it's, and, it's, uh, I mean, it's but, nostalgic yeah, talking it's about it. In fact, you know, when we pass the MAR flyover and when we see it, it looks so barren now, you know, yeah. every, whenever you will see that place, uh, I mean, it will just pass your mind, right? No, the and best really, bit is that wherever we go now, yes, everybody says, says hey, yeah, it's your When we meet people all over India, they say, it is not what kiya aapne, kya kiya humne. It was this hum factor which was so very important. It was this group of, of around 80 young people who really worked hard. And it is for their endeavors that today is AICG 2023 is a success. I would like to thank them all and it's my salute to all the young girls. It's all worth it in the end. I get very emotionally attached. So I was very emotionally attached to the conference. And great that, uh, and you cannot pull it off without your team. It's impossible. The execution needs a whole lot of people. You can plan, you can dream, you cannot execute unless you have a big team who are willing to execute it. And now Bengal stands not only for our members, for the pharma industry, for everybody, people from Bengal, they stand up with their head high nationally and say, try and outdo what Bengal has done. Thank you, Gauram Lachik. Hamdeh Shuru Kura Dinah.